Hello and welcome to another episode of Death by Bungie. This episode of Death by Bungie. Bungie Jr. here is going to help me show you the difference between the C2 crank system and the Charger EXT. This is Bungie Jr., a gift from a friend of Bungie. Can you believe that? This is Genevieve's crossbow. This is the piece of equipment that is responsible for my daughter becoming interested in crossbow hunting and becoming a second generation crossbow hunter. How cool is that? I think it's pretty cool. Also, I think it's pretty cool is the C2 crank system that you see attached to this crossbow. And the reason I think it's pretty cool is because cocking this 280 pound, 285 pound draw weight crossbow with a rope cocker is the end of your back. <laughs> my back hates this crossbow, I gotta tell you, flat out. <laughs> in all seriousness, cocking this crossbow with a rope cocker, I can do it in a pinch, but it's not something I'm going to want to do. In the backyard, if you're shooting, you're going to need a crank system for one of these high draw weight crossbows, at least in my opinion. If you can cock this all day long with a rope, more power to you. Um, your back is going to hate you one day for it and it's going to punish you. But nonetheless, the differences between these two cocking systems, this one is the C2 crank system. I really liked it. I mean, it worked really well. It goes right on here, bolts in the back. You don't need to install any extra hardware in order to get it to work. It slides right down over the butt of the stock. And then you just tighten this little knob up and it goes in there and holds it right in place. A lot of tension is going to be on this, so you got to make sure it is seated properly. The hooks on this one actually go down very similar to the rope cocking system that I use on Bungie. The rope cocker the hooks go down on my Excalibur crossbow. Place one hook in and then the other hook facing down. Have them up against the side of the rail. Well, different models are a little different, as I will discuss with you in this video. It was interesting to learn that. And I'm not sure it makes much difference as long as you do it the same way every time. But that is something between you and your manufacturer. Of course, that's not something to take from, don't take my word for it. The hooks go down on this, however, as you can see, because the little seat for those hooks, when it's in storage, actually has the hooks pointed down. You're going to use these rope these crank systems very much in the same way that you would use a rope cocker. There's a little right here below the safety mechanism. There is before the hand below the hammer, so to speak, there is a little groove where that rope is going to go. So the one hook's going to go on one side of the, of the rail. The other hook's going to go on the other side of the rail, on the other side of the barrel, and then slide down here and hook onto the string. You're going to straddle the rail, straddle the barrel with the ropes, and the back of that rope is going to go in that little groove, just like your rope cocking system would do. There's videos on YouTube that show you how to do that stuff, but pay attention to those and make sure you're doing it properly. This one clicks a little bit. When you are cranking it up, you can actually hear it clicking. It'll click, 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 click. And I will say this also, with the C2 crank system installed, I could cock it just fine. Genevieve, however, could not cock it with that crank system. Could not get it all the way back. It was still requiring too much effort for her to cock the crossbow would not work. I want to thank friends of Bungie for chiming in on this topic and telling me, because I've posted this on the Facebook page as we were exploring the crossbow here, exploring this new present. And while we were working with Bungie Jr. here, friends of Bungie suggested trying out the Charger EXT crank system. That one promises 12 pounds of pressure is all that is required to crank even a 280 pound draw weight crossbow. So we took the plunge there. I bought it. It was not a cheap little system. I really ought to have Genevieve here to explain these things to you. She's much more in command of this piece of equipment. This is the Charger EXT crank system. It is blue. Excalibur likes the blue as a hunter in the woods. Blue is one of those colors that deer can see. I don't particularly care for that. Um, orange might be better. I don't know, but it's, uh, you know, it is what it is. But this is something that you will attach when you're cocking the crossbow and then you don't shoot it with it on. You take it off just like the other one. You're going to want to take it off before you go shooting the crossbow. You don't want to be firing your crossbow with a handle sticking out. And you can take the handle off of these, no problem, but you don't really want this in the way. There's actually a warning label on the package for this that says, don't fire the crossbow with the hooks still attached to the string. I can just imagine what an awful disaster that would be. But... I'm not going to make fun of anyone 
who made a mistake like that. I am, after all, the person who dry fired Bungie, Bungie last year on a live stream. So <laughs> I'm going to be real careful about you know poking fun at people. But nonetheless, that is something obviously that I can just imagine would be a disaster, be very dangerous. So you make sure you. That's another reason to get into a good habit routine and practice when you're cocking your crossbow. I have talked before, for example, in my book, the Death by Bungie Crossbow Story. Confessions of a Crossbow Hunter. In that book, I talk about routines, habits, routines, and practices. Something that you do regularly. I talked about this last year during Crossbow Appreciation Month. It's a very important topic to me. When I cocked the crossbow, when I cocked Bungie, Bungie with a rope cocker, I cocked that crossbow and I immediately put the crossbow on safe and then I put the rope cocker back in my left pocket so I know right where it is next time. Then, only then, do I load an arrow. When that routine is disrupted, that's when things like that dry fire take place. That's when you get into problems, right? So that's why I stick to that habit and that routine. I've tried to enforce that on Genevieve as we've gone forward, preparing her to hunt with a crossbow. I've tried to show her and get her onto that good habit or routine. And I think she has really done it well. I watch her cock this, and she does it the same way every time. The safety gets put on right at the right time before she takes this off, before she takes the, the strap off her wrist, that sort of thing. This is a wrist strap that goes around your wrist to hold it in place so that the handle doesn't slip away from you. Then she takes this off and she'll be placing this in her bag. For now, we take it off and we set it on the ground under the bench that we'll be sitting on when she takes her shot in the backyard. So we're getting a routine together with this tool as well, and I think that's very important. I really should have Genevieve here to demonstrate this for you because she has much more experience with it and she's better at it than I am. This basically just goes on like this and then snaps in place, snap it in place, can do it with one hand even. The hooks on this one are different though. You'll notice that the hooks actually point down on this one, but when we take them off the little rest that they are on, they will be used the same way. The rope goes around the butt of the stock here under the safety, and then it's gonna run down the rail and connect to the strings. But the difference is that these hooks will be pointing up. We have done it time and time again both ways. The crossbow was accurate with the hooks pointing down on the C2 crank system. The crossbow is equally accurate consistently accurate with the hooks pointing up on this Charger EXT crank system. So it works either way. But I will say that this one, the big difference is it is quiet, totally worth it to have a nice quiet one cocking it in the woods at the bottom of your tree stand. The other one would alert deer that you're there. This one, very quiet. Also, this one, Genevieve can use completely on her own. I am confident that if she is to go hunting with me, she will be able to cock her crossbow. I've watched her time and time again. Like I said, she's better with this device than I am. This is a lot easier than the other one. <laughs> uncocking the crossbow with these devices, with the C2 crank, you don't uncock the crossbow with that device. You gotta fire the crossbow. And that to me is one of the things I don't like about that as well. That tells me that that one sort of takes away one of the beautiful things about a recurve crossbow for me. One of the things I've always liked about Bungie, Bungie is the ease of uncocking that crossbow. It's very easy for me to uncock that crossbow. I get out of the tree stand, I just take the rope out of my pocket, uncock the crossbow, put it away. This one has an anti-dry fire mechanism in it, which slows down the uncocking process. It's an extra step, it's something that you need to do, but it's really not a big deal. I was a little nervous with this Charger EXT crank system, you can uncock the crossbow. I was a little nervous doing that, but figured it out and was able to do it. So I was able to uncock the crossbow with it and I feel comfortable doing that now. I don't think Genevieve will do that. I think I will be doing that for her if we're hunting together, maybe down the road she can do that herself. The last thing I'll tell you about these crank systems, both of them worked very well for changing the brace height, taking the string on and off if you have the stringing tool that you put over the ends and you crank that back. I did it with a rope a couple of times and I'm telling you, that's a bear. But both of these, the hooks can be placed around the, the plastic on the rope cock or the stringing aid if you want to use that. I have unstrung this crossbow, tightened up the, cr the string. Probably needs another touch here, just tighten it up a little bit to get the brace height back a little bit more. But that is something that's very easily done with the cranking systems. And I am very appreciative of that because again, I doing it with your back, oh, that's awful. <laughs>
Well, I hope you got something out of this video, another Crossbow Appreciation Month video here on Death by Bungie. I hope you've gotten something out of Bungie Jr. here and our attempts to explain the difference between these two different crank systems. I hope that gives you a little bit more information as we head out into the crossbow seasons. I hope all is going well for you. I hope your food plots are getting done if you're into food plottery, if you're doing that sort of thing. I hope you'll check out my book, The Death by Bungie Crossbow Story. Confessions of a Crossbow Hunter. I hope you'll check that book out on Amazon.com because I work very hard on it. And if you're a friend of Bungie, you probably already have a copy of that book, don't you? Maybe, maybe not. But I hope you'll check it out. Until next time, all hail Bungie.